Andrew, and today I'm wearing a bean bean over my pony because my hair's a little fucking greasy. Why am I afraid to express my grease, you ask? Well, I'll answer that question in the form of a song. Just kidding. I don't know. People are fucking mean to me when my hair's a little greased up. Well, guess what else is greasy? Fucking oil. One of America's top business opportunities. You think I don't want success on my forehead, honey? Also, I'm trying to be a little bit quieter because the last time I made a video, my neighbors literally pounded on my wall like they slapped it like an ass. And I mean, let's be honest, it's probably for the better. Why the fuck am I screaming all the time? It's not like it's hilarious. No one watches my videos like, oh my god, I love Drew. You watch Drew. He's so loud. By the way, my friend Trish got me this beanie for Christmas. It's literally a Louis Vuitton beanie. It's a fucking bougie bean. I've never worn anything like it. I've never worn a beanie that's been over like I think four dollars. Like me, I should not be wearing this beanie. This is like a beanie you wear on your way to a fancy expensive ski resort with your blonde girlfriend who's wearing fur and I do not have that and I am not going there. I'm going one place and one place only by my lonesome and that is Del Taco. I also have a little cut cut on my face from shaving. I always nick myself when I shave. I probably shouldn't have told you that. Like that's a little embarrassing. I should have like left it mysterious like so you guys could be like wow did a fucking criminal swipe at him in a street fight? No, this is more of a like, I don't know how to be a big boy scar. I literally cut myself in some way every time I shave my face. That's why I need a girlfriend, by the way. That's what girlfriends do, right? They shave you. I've been single for a while. By the way, speaking of girlfriends, would it ever be appropriate to ask an Uber driver for her phone number? I had like a connection with this girl. Like, I don't know if she felt it, but I felt it. It was like fun and she was pretty and we were talking and I didn't want to be like weird and be like, thanks for the ride. Do you want to come over to my apartment and meet my turtle and watch me eat Doritos? I mean, I guess that doesn't have to be the first date, but I just prefer it that way. I said Uber by the way, but I meant Lyft because I feel like Uber is a more accessible brand. If you don't know what Uber is, it's like Lyft. It's like a taxi. I don't know where you guys lived. Are you guys in another country? Who are you? When is it appropriate to try and date people? I don't know how that works. How do people meet the people that they date? Honestly, if anyone knows a Lyft driver in the Los Angeles area around my age and a female, show her a picture of me. I feel like there's no good actual pictures of me on the internet. So I'm going to pose for one right now. Screenshot this. <laughs> Remember me? Anyway, Christmas is over. I don't know when you're watching this, but Christmas is fucking over and who gives a shit? Honestly, like Christmas is nice, like warmth and family and presents, but it lasts for like 45 minutes. Like everything's done and it's 10.30 a.m. What are you actually supposed to do at that point? Like, okay, everyone, thank you. Best wishes. I'm going to go back to my room and sleep for four and a half hours. Wake me up if you want to go see a terrible movie. Like, honestly, mama, can I please be excused? Because I want to go play Sims in the privacy of my own penis. I want to talk about the new year though. I feel like every time a new year is coming up, I see people on like social media or like talking in real life like, oh, so ready for 2016. It's like, what the fuck are you actually talking about? I know I sound like a 16 year old stoner when I say this, but the calendar is kind of a made up fucking thing. It's not like in school where the semester restarts and like everyone has an A plus again. Like imagine if you knew somebody like walked in on them like staring at a clock and you're like, what's going on? They're like waiting for 3 p.m. You're like, what happens at 3 p.m.? Well, at 3 p.m. I'm gonna change my life and start going to the gym. You'd be like, what the fuck is going on, Bill? What does that mean? Get on that treadmill, Billy boy. I want to see those tits a in. You know what I mean? You know how some years sound like the future? Like, remember when it was 2013? You're like, whoa, it's the fucking future, 2013. And then your iPhone froze, and you're like, what is this, the fucking 90s? I think it's the odd numbered years that sound like the future. Like, 2015, that's like beep, beep, boop. 2016, fuck off. Like, that is not the future. 2016 might as well have happened 30 fucking years ago. 2017, that's fucking badass. That is where it's at. 2017, that's like the year that we start acting actually fucking robots. Like, I know they have, like, fuck robots, but, like, they kind of fuck you, like, they get the job done. I mean, like, foreplay robots. Like, they fucking make out. 2017, you're gonna be able to, like, sit next to a robot on the couch and watch Criminal Minds and, like, feel its hot fucking metal boner on your leg and be like, is it time? Like, you and the robot are, like, staring each other in the eyes, like, romantically, like, for an awkward amount of time, and then finally the robot's like, what are you thinking about? And you're like, I don't know. <laughs> what are you thinking about? And the robot's like, smudging and you fuck. What else? Oh, I was thinking the other day, okay, I worked really hard on some art projects in like high school and middle school. Like it was my life and you fucking glued it and then you paper clipped it and then you fucking let it cool for three years and then you put magazine clippings on it. I did all of that shit and I realized the other day, I don't know where any of them are. So if you are in art class in school right now, I want you to save that shit or fucking stop doing it. Throw it away and show your teacher this video. I don't give a shit. Show them the robot part. Oh, so I found something out. Did you know that fucking Rihanna was 16 when her first album came out and Haley Williams from the band Paramore was 16 when their first album came out. That's fucking crazy, right? Like, that is surprising. Like, I realized that when I was 13, I thought that, like, every famous person was 35. Famous people, like, just seem older or their ages are, like, more important. Like, Justin Bieber, I looked it up. He's 21. That's, like, the same age as me, like, one year off. We're, like, not the same age, though, you know? Like, if someone's at a party and they're like, Drew, Justin, you're, like, the same age, right? 21? I'd be like, well, I mean, he's, like, I'm, like, 21 and 
he's like, 21. Also, by the way, another thing, speaking of girlfriends, I was sitting on my couch the other day and then I moved on to the other cushion of the couch and then I felt the cushion that I was just on before this cushion and it was like warm and I sat on it and I kind of felt like I was with someone and in that moment I realized I have everything I need right here. Anyway, I think that's it for the day. I still lost my voice, but that was quieter, right? Like, I was quieter. I didn't yell as much. I didn't yell as much. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. By the way, you're probably wondering, what the fuck is up with your outfit, Drew? Why do you look so fucking good? You look fancy in that fucking fancy shirt. You look like you just, like, inherited a bunch of money. I'll tell you what. I'm dressed for the job, baby. I'm a tuber, and that means something to me. I'm not one of these fucking Tumblr heartthrobs who, like, wears a pullover sweater and calls it a day. I'm a man, and I put on a suit when I go to work. I sound like I'm crying, but it's my voice is scratchy. I'm gonna sing now. Leave me a fucking comment because I'm very, very lonely. How long is this gonna take? <laughs> nope, get me good. Do it! <laughs>